Okay, the second part of this question was to write a, a function called get password that will only accept A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3 as the, or well, I think it was A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 as the correct answer. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to need a new subroutine and let's call it get password. We've been asked. And again, we might want a prompt, perhaps. And let's put a default value of input password. Like that, something like that. Remember, we need a colon at the end. Press Enter, and we now define the subroutine in the indented code. Right, OK, so get password. So we're going to use a while loop to keep asking for the password continuously until they get it right. So we're going to say while not correct. In other words, we're going to use a variable called correct here to determine whether or not the password is correct or not. Now we're going to make sure that whatever goes on inside this code in here, so we're going to put some code in here to uh, ask for the password. We'll write that code in a minute. We've got to make sure that it asks for the password at least once. So we've got to make sure that we put something before the while loop to ensure that that while loop does get executed at least once. So we're going to um, say that, and, and correct, by the way, is a Boolean thing that determines whether it's true or false. So if it's if it if it is not correct, it will keep asking. So, so we're going to assume we want to make sure that it it um, executes at least once, and it does that by saying not correct. And so we want to check to make sure that the password is not correct to start with. We're going to put correct equals false, set it to false to start with, and therefore that not correct. Remember, correct is false, so not correct is true. So this will keep going while while true. OK? So let's put in here uh, something to ask for the password now. So we're going to use uh, our raw input. So let's call it uh, the password guess, something like that. Password guess equals, and we're going to get raw input. And we're going to use the prompt that we've got in the parameter. So this will continuously say input password, input password, input password. And it will keep doing that whilst correct is not true. Now, we need to oops, spell that wrong there, prompt. That's better. We need to now set this variable called correct to being the correct value, to being the right value, I should say. So correct it is true if they've guessed the password right. So we're going to say correct is equal to password guess is equal to the actual prompt that we said that we would have ABC123. So in other words, we're setting this Boolean variable correct, so true or false, to this thing here, which of course is also true or false. So Password guess is what we typed in, and if it's equal to a the string abc123, then that is the correct password, and therefore correct would be set to be true. If they don't type for password guess abc123, this correct would be set to false, and this would carry on going around the loop. Okay, so let's test that. We need some, let's just remove this code here where we're testing our centurion. Um, code and we're going to say get password and our prompt is just going to be the default prompt so I won't put any um, any any prompt there so let's run that see what happens it's okay input password and if I type something that's wrong it's going to do C game input password all the time you can see whatever I type in here doesn't matter what I type it's, it's wrong, even just a, a blank, it's wrong. But if I put A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, then password guess will become A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, and therefore password guess uh, is 
equals ABC123. That would be true. So correct would be true. And this while not correct would be, this would be false because not correct is not true, which is false. And therefore it would come out and end. So if we press enter now, you can see that now the program finishes. So it's a very, very simple way, I mean, insecure way, not, a, not some great security going on here, but at least it will um, keep asking the user um, what is a password to something. Let's actually look at the breakpoint, put a breakpoint in here and debug the code so we can see what's going on. So let's do that. right click here and debug okay and we get to this get password now I'm going to step into that code so as I hover my mouse over this button here you say step into okay so we're going to go into that and that goes into the get password so correct is is now going to be false as you can see here so while not correct, that's not true. So not true. Sorry, sorry, not false, I beg your pardon. Correct is false, so not false. Well, not false is true, so while true, so it will continue round. Password guess is raw input. So that gets the the password from the, the console, from the keyboard. So if I type in something that's correct, it will now set correct to be password guess, which is this K, J, A, S, blah, 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 num thing that I just typed in here. It, it will compare that to this A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, which is, uh, which is false. So correct will then be false. And then it will therefore continue while not, while not correct, because correct is false. Okay, background, ask again. And type in the correct password this time, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. And now this password guess is ABC123. This equal to the string ABC123. So correct will now be uh, correct will now be true. As you can see in the debugger, correct is now true. And therefore not true is false. So this will not get executed this time, and the program will jump over and therefore end.